Hey everyone, welcome to the channel of Regex Software. Today we will see like how to install Cloudera Quick Start inside a virtual box. So the three softwares which are needed is first of all you need to install a software which is named 7zip. So that is used to extract the files in a deep manner. Second thing is you need to have your virtual box. And the third and the last thing is you need to have a Cloudera image. So the Cloudera image link has been given below and you will also get it in the description so now let's start so first of all you need to go on a browser and type 7zip on the first link go on the download and download the uh, whatever version of exe file like if your system is 64 bit download it and if your system is 32 bit you can download the above link okay go in the next browser just select or uh, type download uh, virtual box 5 so why we are taking the virtual box 5 version because that is quite stable so you can go and download the old version and you can select here like if your system is your uh, windows you can select it and download it by clicking on windows host fine and the last thing is you need to have your cloud area image for, so for that purpose you can simply uh, type this command in your tab and just click enter the file will automatically start downloading but uh, the size is quite large like it's nearby 4 GB so you need to have some patience so let me click and download that file so we will resume it soon so we have seen like we have all the three uh, softwares so first of all just download and, and install the 7zip folder just double click on it and download or install the file just uh, give run and just install it in any of these place whatever you are required ok so that has been installed and for installing the virtual box you need to just uh, double click click on next now the second thing uh, is you have to unzip the file so right click on that and look and look for like 7 zip and then extract the files here ok so probably it will take some time so in the meantime we can install the virtual box so double click on the virtual box like whatever version you have downloaded so the installer will be started for the virtual box you need to click next don't worry about the other thing uh, click next if you want to create a shortcut you can select it or otherwise uh, remove that click next yes install and now the installation uh, for the virtual box will be started you can see like the virtual box and the extracting the files will be uh, taken place so let it be happen and let's wait for some time so it will ask about all those component let it be uh, installing the software so now we can see the installation has been completed you can click on finish and in between you can also see like the folder uh, has been extracted and a new folder is created right now so we will use that one also so the virtual box has been restarted fine so don't worry about the other terms just click on the file and click on import appliances ok so it will give a prompt like to browse the file click on this icon and go on the folder on download where you have extracted the file and select the this particular file ok the single file will be visible so and open that so uh, the format for the file will be .ovf so click on next on the next part it will show you like the 
uh, on the cloud data quick start is based on the red hat version and it is taking one uh, one core cpu and the ram is 4036 like if your system has a ram of only 4 gb you can reduce it to 2 or 3 gb might be but now i am having a full 8 gb of ram so we have to using that and let the other services be the same and click on import so it will take some time so let's wait to restart and we will continue further so as you can see now like the cloud era quick start vm is available here so to start it you can uh, double click on that or either you can just select it and you can click on start button fine so that will take some time because the image uh, takes a lot of memory so you can see now your uh, your image is getting boot up so the image is basically made on the red hat version 7 so let's wait to start the machine now as you can see the cloudera operating system has been installed so for the sake of like running the command you can type and see like the all the things are working correctly by typing hostname so it will show you the hostname is quickstart.cloudera now you can run some basic commands dfs hyphen ls and slash so it will show all the images all the files which is available in hadoop and if some of you might be having uh, having issues so you can write down the command home cloud era the agi the next command is cloud era manager hyphen hyphen force so it will restart all the services so one more parameter should be there okay so it will restart all the services and you can start working on it fine so in the meantime what you can do you can go on the browser in the same window so after a long time like waiting for such a long time so we can see like uh, you can see uh, it's showing you like you can log into a cloud era manager so what it is so whenever like you can see like in any company so like you have a project manager so in the same way cloudera manages the is the one who manages all the services which is present so to access the console of cloudera manager you can just copy this particular link go on the browser so open a browser okay and enter a link with the port number 7180 and you can see like it will ask you about some username and the password so for the same the username and the password you can see here is the cloud era and the cloud era so login again and type the password and the username is cloud era and cloud era fine so log in it's showing you some issues okay so it's all been done and you can run all the services like on the left hand side you can see all the services which is present so if you want to run some services so you can simply go on this icon and click on the start so it will start all the services so in the same way you have different set of services so whatever you like you can run it otherwise you can stop the services so that's it like how to install the cloud in and how to start working on it so please like and subscribe to our youtube channel 
and thank you and have a good day